This is a 2015 BMW M4. My thoughts on this car. My personal opinion, I should say. Fantastic car. Got a ton of compliments from a ton of strangers. Just people, thumbs up. Hey, nice car, man. I've seen, I've literally parked my car and someone was walking and literally took a picture of my car. Um, at that time, it, I got it when it just had come out, so I guess there weren't too many M4s on the road. I'm seeing a lot a lot more of them on the road now. Twin turbo, six cylinder, 425 horses, 406 foot-pounds of torque, I believe. Uh, zero to 63.9 seconds, advertised by BMW. This car is very fun to drive. It's, for, for its car type, being a sports car, it has pretty big seats in the back. Um, it has a pretty big trunk, not huge trunk, but you could easily fit a stroller or big bags. It, it's good, good size trunk. It, this is like, honestly, it's a practical car. It's a sports car, but it, it's honestly very practical. I've never felt a need. I'm like, oh, I'm missing something, whatever. Even for Costco runs, it's fine, honestly. Not the biggest trunk in the world, but very big for a, again, for a sports car. Okay, driving wise, very fun, very fast. Um, it does pull if you if you get the speeds just about right. It, second second gear does a very nice pull. Um, transmission's very fast. Um, overall, really good car. BMW engineers did a fantastic job, it, especially the traction control group. Wow, because this car without traction control is just like a monster on wheels. It's like. It's so easy to lose control of this car when traction control is off. It's insane how big of a difference traction control makes. And it's not like a, I don't know if a Toyota Camry has traction control or not. I mean, the option to turn it off or not. But if you were to compare it against a car like that, traction control on or off is just about the same thing. Uh, it's just like, I guess, it's just a button that they put. Just, oh, this is cool. Just like their power mode. Oh, this is cool. This car, no. When you put it in power mode, it's like, it, it goes. Transmission in the the S3 mode, switches fast, keeps it in high revs. Uh, suspension, comfort, you could, you could feel it. It's not amazing. Even in comfort mode, it's fine. It's not amazing. It's not like, you're, you're, it's not gonna be like a soft car, but it's pretty good for a car like this. Overall, good car. Um, this car sticker is 79,000. I personally don't think it's worth 79,000. I think these cars should start at 50. And someone might be thinking, well, like uh, like a Lexus IS 250 or 350 gets to like 50. Like really? Like it? Well, those cars shouldn't cost that much either. So I think all cars cost way too much. And it's very evident because when you buy a car, especially an expensive one like this. As soon as you drive it out of the lot, like there's no way anyone's gonna give you 79 for this car. No way. They're gonna give you like 62 for this car. It drops like crazy, crazy. Anyways, I think this car should cost 50 to 55. I mean, this one's pretty loaded. It doesn't have the carbon ceramic brakes, but other than that, it pretty much has everything else. Um, I think this car should cost no more than 57 tops, like just shouldn't if you're leasing this car it shouldn't cost more than 600 bucks 550 600 tax included with little to no money down like 2,000 down or something um, I'm obviously paying a lot more than that um, not worth the price in my personal opinion it's just not worth the price next car um, model 3 Tesla that's funny because they call it an M3 for short I'm, I really like electric cars. I like where they're going. This car seems fast, but I feel like 10, 15, 20 years later, a lot of electric cars will be just as fast and they'll be standard just because it's a better technology. I think I will miss the engine revving sound and stuff, but yeah.